Hello again, Terry Lacona back here at the Moody Theater coming to you live from downtown Austin on November the 1st and I'm about to have a nice conversation with Ruthie Posture and <sighs> Ruthie you took my breath away. I don't know how you have any breath left after oh, that yeah, show. Well. That was beautiful. That was really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I got a little left. <laughs> we had some uh, some really beautiful, wonderful, heartfelt comments on the on the chat during the live stream just now too. Oh good. Your fans were with us tonight. And Yay. they were coming from all over. So That's good to know. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations. What a band. Yeah. For singers. Yeah. Everybody came through. I pulled a pulled a lot put a lot of stunts for this one. <laughs> this is uh this is this was in, important for us and to get the band to play together again too. You know, I was just thinking, I don't know if you realized it's been it's been like eighteen years since the first time you did Austin City Limits. Has it been that long? Back in 2002, 2003. Yeah, yeah it has been a long wow. time. Time does fly, especially during a pandemic. But Yes, it does. Here we are. So let's cover a little bit of history, but I also want to talk about the future. Let's start there, because you've got a new album that is in the works mm -hmm. that is coming in 2021, like the rest of the world hopefully will come back in 2021. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what to expect. Well, we, we actually featured a few songs uh, tonight on the, that are going to be on the album that I'm, I'm getting the band to write r with me and for me and so I'm really looking forward to featuring more of of their talents as songwriters on the new the new one. So I was going to ask you about your your songwriting process and this mm -hmm. this album and these songs are like a little bit of a departure. It's a very collaborative process from top to bottom, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had the fellas to come in. They flew here to Austin, uh, Haddon, my guitar player, and Scotty, my keyboard player. And we actually just sat and, and wrote together for a day. In fact, we're doing that uh, after the show uh, tomorrow, too. So, yeah, we're, we're trying to just get to where we... I want them to have a voice in this band as well. Uh, and it kind of helps with the songwriting, too, to kind of pass uh, some, of the, uh, some of the workload over to what they're doing. And they're all great singer-songwriters in their own right and mm -hmm. have their own careers. Share the inspiration that goes into the music. Yes, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, about your history for the benefit of those watching who may have missed that first show 18 years ago or maybe missed that night when you stole the show with your Ray Charles uh, tribute to, <laughs> to the great legend. But um, yeah. you, you grew up with a lot of music in your family and, in fact, um, in church. That's mm -hmm. really what got you going musically, right? Is yep. enjoying the rest of, of your family, your whole family, singing and playing. Yeah, everybody. Everybody sang. In fact, singing in, in the choir where I'm from, was it's just a rite of passage. At a certain age, you're expected to sing a solo, whether you want to or not. <laughs> so that's kind of, because I grew up wanting to be, wanting to just play piano. I wanted to just be a background uh, instrumentalist. But nope, you got to sing a song, and that's what started it. I would imagine it was a little bit intimidating in that respect. Very much so. Like, what, 10 or 11 years old at the time, yeah, right? Ten, yeah, 10, 10 years old. So when did you finally find that confidence to uh, mm. to let your voice be heard? I'm still looking for that. <laughs> I have my moments, you know. It, it really is about feeling good about the, the music, feeling great about the songs. That's why I'm really careful about the songs that I choose. And I, I want to relate to what I'm singing uh, in every way. So, and you know, when, once I got that, the confidence is there. I know what I'm singing about. Well, your voice is your most important instrument. It is. You love yeah. guitar. But uh, the voice is the most precious instrument, and uh, you know that better than, than I do, for sure. Mm -hmm. And you have to take good care of that instrument. Yes, you do. Yeah, and having this time down, I, I, uh, I, I've been using most of my voice to chase my nine-year-old around the house uh, <laughs> <laughs> and sing whatever she wants to sing. So this has been, uh, you know, I'm trying to tread lightly and, and go you know, be easy on myself as I get back into uh, working this muscle because it is that. Now, as I said, as part of my introduction, people do think of you as a blues singer, a blues artist, and, and you love the blues. Mm -hmm. But as I also said, you're so much more than just that. Um, I mean, just looking at some of the artists, some of the songs that you have covered, for instance, Johnny Cash, 
-hmm. Mavis Staples, Patty Griffin. So you're inspired by all kinds of music. I am. I, yeah, I grew up with a lot of music. You know, growing, growing up here in Texas, we have access to every type of radio station there is. And where I'm from, in about two hours north of here, it's in the middle of the country, and, and the, the, most of the radio stations are country stations, so I grew up with a lot of country. And uh, a lot of um, blues music was being played. And, uh, you know, I, I grew up with the Tex-Mex. You know, every kind of music there is, I love it all. That's what I do love about being from this area. Well, you have also sung with just about every configuration imaginable, certainly by yourself as a solo artist, so you know what that's like being out there in the spotlight, just you, your voice, and your guitar. Yep. And um, it seems like another century ago, but really it was only, what, about a year ago that you did the show at the Paramount Theater with the big band and released an entire album from, from, from that night. Oh. Um, but you enjoy it all, right? I, I mean, do. In, in different ways for different reasons. Exactly. Yeah, I, I wanted to do something with a big band because that's something I used to do when I was uh, in the Navy. I was uh, a big band singer in front of a 15-piece orchestra for the most part. And I thought it was time to bring that to the stage and just let folks know that, you know, this is part of my past too. And now it's a part of what I do. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that again at some point. Well, obviously, it's a little bit different when you're singing with or over a big band versus uh, just you and your guitar. It is. Uh, you know, you will never outsing brass instruments. <laughs> that's 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 the number one thing to remember. You shouldn't even try. No, it's not going to happen, especially when they're they're right behind you. So it was really about phrasing. I learned a lot about phrasing. Uh, singing big band music and listening to some of the greats, Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Nancy Wilson, uh, Sarah Vaughan. These are incredible people who knew a lot about how to phrase when they sang, and that's where it's at. They find you find those those holes, you know, and it's about the, you know, playing with levels and what you do with your voice. Yeah, you are an instrument, so it's basically find a place in that. Yeah. Well, finally, you said, I think it was in, in an interview that I read, that the best advice anyone ever gave you about your music is to be present when you're on the stage. Absolutely. What, is, what does that mean to you? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, try not to think about whether you left the iron on in the hotel room. You know, it's, it's really about being where you are. And um, for me personally, it's about allowing allowing myself to be uh, a part of what's going on, not just on the stage, but how I feel, really being present in my body. And that's huge for me, uh, especially when I don't, you know, you, so you saw me with no guitar in front of me. What are you going to do with your hands? So, hey, you better, you, better be, you better be where you are and, and move with a purpose. So, yeah, you know, it's really about letting everything go around you and uh, enjoying the moment. And just being true to yourself. It really is. And that's is. what shows. Yeah. And that's what people connect with. It so. is, every time. Yeah. Well, once again, thank you so much for coming out and pulling this together under challenging circumstances, of course, yeah. and not holding anything back. Hey. The people out there loved it tonight, and they're going to love it when they see it on PBS as part of our new season. Good luck with the new album in 2021. Just, hey, Thank good you. luck with 2021. The rest of us yeah, are all really. in the same boat together. <laughs> but we do look forward to the new music, and thanks for the sneak preview tonight. Thanks, Terry. Thank you, Ruthie. You're Best welcome. of luck to you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Be safe. Have a good night.